Maybe I got the wine. that did this will not leave you empty handed in this marriage he will give you another child we should be happy that is the child and not you eh? so there is hope for another baby okay it's okay it's okay it's okay after all these years mommy after all these years baby Please, relax, okay? You still have your life. We can always make babies. Right? But where would I replace you? You're the one that matters to me, please. Look, sis. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? Any harm coming will have to come through me first, okay? You just... Please stop crying. Right? You make me cry. Stop crying. Stop crying. You make me cry. not mislead you. A man will tell you all is well. He will comfort you and even show you love. But trust me, he is not happy. He will go out to find a solution to his problem. You have been married for four years and nothing to show for it. High time you stop sitting on your hands. Your husband will definitely go out and marry another one if you don't conceive this time. What should I do? Brace up. You have to brace up and find solution to your problem. Yes. Stop sitting on your hands. I am your mother. I gave that to you. So you must give your husband a child. 
Move on. You don't need to sit and fold your hands like this. You need to do something. Find solution to your problem. See, if you ask me, I'll tell you it's high time you got yourself another woman. I mean, you don't try now. Or do you want to die childless? Something to worry you. Like, are you okay? Guy, I love my wife. <laughs> there you go again. I am not asking you to marry another woman. All I'm asking is for you to get yourself a baby mama or something. You know, somebody to extend your lineage. So if nothing is wrong with my wife, what do I need a baby mama for? Or another woman? You said if. And that is a big if. Which means something could be wrong and you don't even know it. The doctors checked us. <clears throat> Please. Anybody can be bought for any amount. Okay. Why am I even having this conversation with you? I know for you, I mean, cheating is... It's a normal thing, but for me, it's a deal breaker. So please, I don't want to have this discussion. Steve, why are you sounding like we're not men? You and I know that cheating is in our DNA as men. So why can't you do this for the right reason? It's in your own DNA, not mine, okay? Look, I love my family, and I'm not ready to bring in any useless drama to come and destabilize it. In short, come. Let's go before you put me in trouble. Pick your stuff. Let's go. Are you chasing me from your house? Let's go. Up. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. It's fine, though. What if I never get pregnant? Why would you ask me that? Of course you'll get pregnant. What if I don't? What would you do? I don't know. Would you still be with me? Of course, you'll still be my wife. Yes, but would I be the only woman in your life? Why are you asking me this Answer question? Answer the question. Look, let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Let's take life as it comes. What will be, will be. You begin to see this with me. What do I do? Mm. Don't worry. I will take you to go and see a prophet. A powerful prophet. Once we get there, all your problems will be over. Mm. Tomorrow is Thursday. Can we go on Friday? When you are ready, I am ready. Okay. Let me talk to my husband. Don't tell him. You can only tell him about the trip. But don't give him details. Why? Okay? You are so naive. It's not all men that would like to hear this. And I would not like you to go against your husband's instruction. So the best you can do is not to give him the full details. Okay? Okay. 
Thank you so much, Mommy. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really don't feel you need to go for prayer. Everything will be fine. Baby, I, I can't just sit and fold my hands. We need to seek the face of God. I have to go for that retreat with my mother. It's like you've made up your mind already. I'm doing this for us, okay? You're supposed to support me and not discourage me. I'm not discouraging you. I just don't feel you need to, but since you've already made up your mind, I mean, you can go. Okay? Okay. All right. So, I'm off. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. God. God, please. Please, I beg you. Don't you think this is the right time to act? Act on what? Come on, don't play dumb. Your wife is out of town. She'll be gone for the whole week. Don't you think you should be out there somewhere, you know, chilling with some woman, making babies? Perhaps. You started with this again. <sighs> How do you people do this? I'm trying to understand how it's possible that you would come to my house, eat my wife's food, drink my cognac, and then plot evil against me and my wife. My wife sees you as a friend. She respects you, and she has welcomed you into our home. But then every time you see her husband, all you do is give him advice on how he should cheat on her. Then when you see my wife, you will groan, hug her and say, Hey, our wife. Come on. How can human beings be so two-faced? <laughs> Look, Steve. I love your wife. She's nice and all that. Yeah. But you need to understand that you're my friend. And I think of you before anyone else. Well, then give me advice that will move me forward. <laughs> and stop talking nonsense. <laughs> what are you saying? What I'm saying is, Drink your cognac and stop set trying to sell me your your, your rubbish sin. My sins. <laughs> so I'm now the sinner, right? <laughs> Steve, Steve. What is going on here? What's wrong with you? Come oh, on. come on, would you get out of my body? What is this? Look, hey! Get out of my room right now! I... I said get out of my room! Get out! Come get on. out! Attempt. In fact, I'm even scared of what he'll do once he comes out of his room. I don't understand. What do you mean? Oga sent me out of his room without looking at me twice. But he was drunk. Exactly my point. He was drunk. Or maybe the person sent to get him drunk didn't get him drunk enough. If I say that he was drunk, then I'm sure he was drunk. You can say it if you failed as a woman to get him into your bed. And that would be your fault, not mine. Collins! 
Did you just call me less of a woman? Does it fit right? Get out of my house. <laughs> Olive's house. Always remember that. Now go and tell him I'm here. Go. Good morning. What do you want? Collins is here to see you. I'll be out shortly. Okay. Ella. Yeah? The stuff you did last night. Don't ever try it again. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Please forgive me. It will stay between us. But the next time it repeats itself, I won't hesitate to tell your sister and send you out of here. I'll keep that in mind. Fine. I'll be out soon. Can you imagine that? You know, sometimes I wonder what has really gone wrong with you. Or does it mean your wife has cooked something for you to eat that you no longer think straight? How can you spit out something so juicy? Something so juicy offered to you on a platter? Eh? Collins. I've said this before, but I will repeat it for the last time. Please, if you don't have any advice that will help me move forward or help my marriage, please, I don't want it again. I don't want it at all. Please, because I'm tired of your rubbish advice. Hmm. So I'm the bad person now, yeah? You cannot be tired, though. You know why? Because I know that you need to hear this often. So that whatever has gone wrong with your brain, eh, can adjust. So I take it you're not going to stop? I won't stop. Then I'm afraid you have to stop coming to my house. Yes, because I can't trust a friend like you. You guys are worse than enemies. Did you just say that to me? Yes, and I mean it. You stop coming to my house. <laughs> Babe. Babe, what is it? Haven't you missed me? Because I've missed you. Babe, I've missed you, but not tonight, please. Why? I'm fasting. We can do it tomorrow. I'll be done tomorrow. So what am I supposed to do with myself? <sighs> Babe, it won't kill you. Tomorrow will not kill you, okay? Please, just be patient. Just sleep tomorrow. You did not do anything with him last night. Hmm. Mommy, he wanted it so badly. I just stood my ground. Good. It's good he did that so that we don't spoil what we have started. Mommy, I feel so bad for him. I miss him. Hmm. You can always cover up for that next time. He is your husband and he's not running away. 
I know. So you need to get prepared what we need for the prayer tonight. So we can change the narrative. Okay. Now, mommy, where is Ella? Ella is in your kitchen. <laughs> no one <laughs> always looking for something to put in her stomach. <laughs> what else do you expect? I, I want to tell you. Money, I appreciate Lord, you for who you are. Ella said to God, is everything your word? That whatever I'm asking your name, that you will do it for us. That is holding my child. That is holding your Lord. That is holding my daughter. That is holding my daughter. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. You are my standing. I do not want to stop. To bind. To cast. In the name of Jesus. My God and my Father. You say it's your word. There is a no bad in your life. Let your Father come and manifest your power. Come and manifest your power. Be both standing. We must say, Master, I thank you. I must shake me because it's not your call to do. That is not your call to do. You don't know what I'm going to do. Come and take me a minute. I'm going to ask you what. 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 I'm going to in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We worship you. Every power that is holding my that is holding my Father, come and take control. Come and take control. In the name of Jesus, I command that we should use your mother's spirit that is holding my child. Father, I ask you this moment. Come and take charge. Come and take charge. In the name of Jesus, Father, come and lead us. We believe that you our prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. This house Father, Lord, children, I thank you because I know you've answered this prayer. I in that mighty name of Jesus. The man of God said once, just once, and it has to be at midnight. How is that so difficult to understand? Which one is just once? So wait, a man of God is supposed to dictate what I do now on my behalf? Nobody is detecting anything in your life. It's just for a few days now. Uh -uh. It's for all good. You and this your man of God should better sort yourself out real you soon. Because I'm beginning to get... All this plenty English you're speaking is because they just gave you a simple instruction to follow. Simple instruction. And it's for our own good though. What is there? Something that is for our own good. Go and sleep in the parlor. Knock your head on the wall. Uh-uh. Don't come and spoil my prayers for me. What is it? It's a few days. Your body is shaking. Can't even control yourself for a few days. Mommy, are you enjoying this? Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Ella, you're up late. Everything okay? Yeah. That was a bad accident to say the first time. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? I'm fine now. Ella! 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 So, Doctor, how is she? What is wrong with her? Well, it is expected that in her condition, she needs to take good care of herself. Her condition? What condition? She is pregnant. Ella is pregnant. Yes, of course. Now listen to me, since you have decided to keep this secret to yourself, you have absolutely no reason being here. What are you saying? Mommy, my husband and I will not have someone who do not regard us in this house. 
house. Listen to me. This is my house. And you have to. I said that. And does Steve know about this? What does it matter? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, dear sister. Steve actually asked me to send you away. That's not true. Yeah, it's not true. Steve, Steve can't do that. You're no longer welcome here. I know she's wrong, but please forgive her. For all this noise, it's because I have refused to tell. <laughs> Steve, I am very disappointed in you. Yes, because you have been looking for a child for God knows how long. And now God has blessed you with one. You want to send his mother out of your house? What are you talking about? You help me. I wanted to save you the stress, but you are too eager to know the truth. So there you go. Steve right here is the father to my unborn child. You heard me. You are the father. What is she talking about? to stay. Yeah, Only baby, I'm telling you the truth, I swear. Look, I did not do anything with your sister. Yes, she made advances at me when you traveled, but then I swear I turned it down. Did you expect me to be that? My sister is pregnant for you. How could you do this to me? I swear. Look, I... Wait a minute. What are you doing in my room? And how did you get into my bed? You asked me into your bed. You told me all those sweet words I've been dying to hear. And you had your way. So I don't know why you're acting as if you've lost your memory. It's not true. I can never do that. Okay. Did you, did you drug my food? <laughs> me? He drug your food. That's ridiculous. I did not. I can't remember anything that happened. So I'm sure nothing happened. Oh. Well, sorry to bust your bubble. We had mad sex last night. We had it like 
What's up, what's up? <laughs> get out of my room! I said get out! That is all I can remember. Okay. If that is what this is, then she took advantage of me. Your sister took advantage of me. Please, baby, I'm begging you. I did not do anything with her intentionally. Okay, she drugged me. I don't, I don't know how to prove this. What I'm telling you is the truth. Don't you dare lie to me, Steve. I can't handle it. It's bad enough that you're having a child with, with my younger sister. Please do not add to my pain by treating me like a fool. God forbid. Don't let this destroy what we have. Please. Don't let that lack of love between us. What we have? What do we have? We have absolutely nothing, Steve. You and Ella share everything now, including a child. You know what? I'm just going to pack my things. To leave this house for sure. Of course, she'll have to leave. <laughs> but mom, I fear that Steve might not get him easily. I know, but you are carrying his child. Very soon he will fall for you. Okay. The bond has been created. It's just for us to nurture it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but mom, mm. Mm. you on the other hand. You have to handle your daughter. Haven't I been doing that? Um, Haven't I? You're trying. You're talking as if you don't know your mother anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know you more. <laughs> like, like mother, mother like daughter. daughter. We, we roll, roll together! <laughs> When a woman gets married, she leaves her family and goes to live with her husband. They both build their home together. Baby, this is your home. We built it together. Okay? I'm the one that brought this upon us. So I cannot let you leave. I should be the one that would leave. Okay, so please, I beg you, stay and let me leave instead. Please. Eh, Nina? Eh, Nina, listen to me now. Eh? Why not? Eh? Why not? Don't leave this here. Ah. I'll go move. Nina? Don't go, don't go, don't go. You can't leave. This is your house. We can reason this out and sort this problem together. Mama, the atmosphere here is really bad. And I'm already confused. But I don't want to put Olive through any other stress. So please, let me just go. You can't go, you can't leave. You can't leave. We can't solve problem by running away from it. The person that should be running out from here is Ella, not you. You can't leave your house. Please. Olive, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. No, be cool, Chari. Let's go anyway. Okay. 
Tira com a minha barra. Tira. Olive, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to ruin the relationship that is left of your life? Steve is your husband. And you should fight for him. He's having a child with Ella, mommy. But she took advantage of him. Okay. And he should not be blamed alone for what happened. Ella wants to steal your husband. And you just want to let her have him without a fight. Did he fight to keep me in his life? It's for better, for worse. Listen to me, Olive. Don't send your man out of his house. And please, don't leave the house either. It's just for a period of time, we'll find a way around it. Let me ask you this. What if Ella is lying? And what if your husband is not responsible for her child? Or it could be that she's saying it because she doesn't have anywhere to go and she wants to remain permanent here. Don't you think of the possibility? Eh? Ne, what do you want? What do you Carry your husband this thing and take it inside. Go by her inside! Oh, you know. I thought you were on my side. Chimo. Ella, what kind of joke is this? Mom, I thought you wanted me to get Steve. So why are you betraying me like you did Olive? <laughs> Mom! Mom! Mom, are you using me? You act unnecessarily smart. Why you are stupid? Yes. Steve has not yet accepted you. So what makes you think that if you leave this house, you have a chance of staying here? If anyone has to leave this house, it has to be Olive. But she's not leaving either. Meaning? She, meaning she has to stay here and get frustrated. Because if she leaves now, she will return after a while. But if she makes her decision before leaving, that means her exit will be permanent. Listen to me. When you want to manipulate someone, you first of all win the person's heart. You make him or her think you are close to him or her before you strike. Olive is not a fool, but will make her act like one. So we all need to be in the same space so that the anger and hostility can grow. Don't you trust your mother anymore? I trust you. You don't know what I <laughs> Ella, why are you bent on destroying your life? And sadly, it's not just your life you want to destroy, you want to destroy mine. And Olive's as well. Is this the actual question you're meaning to ask? Or would you like to rephrase it? Well, are you sure? Because where I'm standing now, it's victory song singing already. You know what they say? When the gods want to kill a man, they first make them mad. Enjoy your few minutes of madness. I'm very sure the gods will visit you soon. Steve, what, what, what is the problem? Hmm? Is it that you're not happy I'm the one having your child? Can you not touch me? The child is a blessing. 
and I will have fun. But not at the expense of destroying my family or making my wife cry. Look, Steve. You are an African man, okay? And you're entitled to more than one wife. So, what's the deal? Oh, yes, I'm an African man. But I am a one man, one woman type of man. Okay? So, whatever plans you have, it will not work. Are you sure? He kept on insisting that Ella must go. Ella has to go. But I don't want her to go. Ella must not go. And at the same time, Olive has to stay. So I want you as his friend to see how you can convince him. Let him see the reason why the both of them have to stay. Um, look, Mama. I took part in this from the beginning because I also want my friend to have a child. But if this is going to spring up issues, I would have to wash my hands of it. Mba, 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 mba. Mm -mm. You can't do that now. You can't back out now. What I want you to do, I want you to convince your friend. Let him see reason why Ella and Olive has to stay. I can assure you there's no problem. Okay? Convincing him is not a problem, Mama. But you have to talk to Ella here. She's here and she can hear me. She has to respect Olive while she's in the house. Because if she keeps having issues and disrespecting his wife to his face, he would have to ask her to leave. And at that point, there would be nothing I can do. Do you hear him? And I need honey. So it's better for you to play your card well so that we don't lose out. It's a man's war. You should be able to make a decision and stand by it. Look, Olive can remain as your wife. But Ella has to remain also as your baby mama. You can even make more babies with her. Look, it's high time you, you stop acting like a fool and take charge of the, of the authority and power God has given to us as men. You think this will work? Of course. Well, I do not love Ella and I don't want to have anything to do with her. And as for your talk on man's world and man power, blah, 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 let me educate you. Maybe in the medieval era, probably, that women subjected themselves to that kind of life. But not now. No. Women these days, independent. They do not go into marriage with aim of losing their personality. Just wrong them once, bro. Just wrong them. Maltreat them. And they will leave you to so multiple options out there to whisk them away from you. Stop the dreaming. You wake up and smell the morning coffee. Look, unless she doesn't love you, if only truly loves you, like I know, trust me, she won't leave. She won't. Well, I do not need my woman to stay with me and be pained. All I know is that I have wronged her and I need to make amends. Okay? You are such a disgrace to the man's world. I can't believe you're letting your emotions control you, Steve. Come on, man. Come on.
work. No food. I'll eat at work. Mama, I'll see you later. Uh -uh. Will you not eat something before you? No. to yourself as my culprit there because I'm your culprit I witnessed something I became part of it and it has haunted me since that day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just come out straight, okay? What did you witness? So how is she, doctor? Oh, um, she's stable now. But we lost the baby. And the womb? Oh. Removed as agreed. Um, but it took me a lot of doubts to end that baby's life. But I paid you handsomely for it. Uh, yes, I know. But madam, can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. She is your daughter. So why are you doing this? Concentrate on your job. You were paid for it. And save yourself from things that do not concern you, okay? Okay. Jesus. I see you were paid to kill that innocent child. But why go for that? To remove her womb? That's wickedness. I knew something was wrong the moment you asked us out of the theater. Should still find out you removed her womb. Maybe. Dr. Joe. One million naira. Deal. Just once I do that once I'll give you Have a good day, Mr. Joe.
I, I, I left the hospital after then. And trust me, my life has not been the same. I didn't know how to find you. I would have come earlier, but that's the truth. Do you, do you know that the woman you're accusing is my mother? I know, and you can always get a proof. Go to another hospital and run a test, and you'll get the answers you seek. Is the result ready yet? Okay, I'll come pick it up tomorrow. Thank you. Today, I just want us to eat as a family and, of course, sort our differences. So, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait, does that include forgiving me? <sighs> Maybe, of course. You know what? I want you to go out there, get my favorite wine. We're going to have so much fun tonight. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? Of course. Yes. Okay, you know what? Get me my car key. I'm going right now. Oh. Okay, but first I want to oh, have baby. a taste. Wine first. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Mama. I'm coming. Right. So, shall we? Let's dig in. I thought we were to wait for Steve to return with the wine. The wine is for my husband and I, so let's just finish it till the point gets back. I'm carrying his child. Of course I know that. I did not forget. Exactly. Ella, stop. Stop what? There is no need for the pretense, man. It's just us here. How do you? How long, man? How long did it take you to plan all of this? Wait. <laughs> At first, the brake of my car was tampered with. I had an accident. I lost my child. Few months after, I'm unable to conceive. Isn't that a bit too much? Are you accusing mom of something? No one is talking about accusations. I haven't said anything. Then come out straight. Then you should have come out straight and told me that Ella wanted my husband. Instead, you paid a doctor to kill my child and take out my womb. 
and then you took me out of town to one fake prophet. Just so that Ella could spend time with my husband. How could you take the happiness of one child and put in the hands of another without even blinking? Because the order you speak about is my biological daughter. But you are just a child that my husband picked from the dustbin barely two weeks after our money. He gave you everything that belongs to my daughter. For years, I watched how what rightfully belonged to my daughter was given to you. You got the best of everything. Even in death, he favored you over his own biological daughter. I had to do something. I have to take that, which I know desires so much to give to my child. And that was why, when she indicated interest, Not ashamed. I, I was, I was so picked. Yes, you were. I didn't beg to be picked. If you didn't want to take care of me, you should have just kept me in an orphanage, killing my child and taking out my womb was so much price to pay for your care. What you think? Well, now that you know the truth, I'd advise you to go to the room, pack up your things, and get out. This is my house, and I am not going anywhere. Look, Uli, <coughs> it's either you leave on your own, or you leave in a body bag. <coughs> I got the wine. <laughs> 